Duo Mining ZG. What? Grab a friend and come mine some Hikari veins. The tigers don't care what class you are, and nor do we. Hey there, thanks for watching. I'm Daintree Rogue, bringing you gaming hints, tips, and hacks fresh from the jungle. Today, we'll show you how to loot five Hikari Thorium veins from seven safe spots in ZG. No stealth, no pets, no trick. There are some of the same safe spots from our other ZG videos, some new ones, and some of them are suggestions from you. So a huge thanks to everyone who watched, commented, and of course subscribed. You guys are awesome. We just showed two different ways to get to our first safe spot, the bridge route. The one on the left is faster, but riskier, while taking the river on the right is slower, but safer. From the bridge route, we head back over the bridge and hold right to avoid the mobs on the left. Look towards the middle where Hakar lives and take a running jump over the water. You can exit right at the corner of the altar. You'll probably aggro a fish in the water, but as long as you're out, they're harmless. Watch out for some wind serpents that pat around the altar though. Mount up when you can and pause on the bridge. From this bridge, our next safe spot is in the temple of Bethek, which is on the right. However, we saw a node over on the left. Once the pats thin out a bit, get your friend to aggro the mobs by the hut and make a dash for the temple of Bethek. You can see this in the bottom right, but I'll run there in a moment too. There are quite a lot of pats to contend with here, and while we can aggro one or two, you definitely don't want to mess with the berserkers. When they're mad, they're bloody quick. After the mods have cleared out, run to the node and give it a bash. And sweet, we have our first solderite. Your friends should let you know how much time is left as they will see their mobs drop from aggro. For now, get back to the bridge. Once the mobs have reset, mount up, check for berserkers, and make a run for the temple of Bethek. Turn into the temple area and go straight up the stairs. Get to the top and jump down to the middle ledge. Any mobs that you aggro will pause and you'll exit combat. This is the Bethek Temple. This safe spot is great for herbing, looting hoodoo piles for blood size and voodoo dolls, and obviously mining. To see some other safe spots and more farming tips, be sure to check out our other ZG videos. Right now, we're checking for pats before jumping down. The next node is buried behind a lot of mobs, so let's take a shortcut. This bit before the wall is tricky to do out of combat. We did it, but it's easier to ignore aggro, get onto the wall, and simply jump down onto the skinny ledge on the other side. While the mobs will follow you onto the wall, they appear to be afraid of small ledges. You want to mark the berserker patrols out the front before you get here, because your friend needs to make a dash down the right hand side, turn right, and get back to the safe spot at the temple. As they do that, run in and grab the node. You should have plenty of time. In fact, there is so much time we will cut to the run back. The footage here is actually different to our original path, but it's much better. We'll continue from the Bethek Temple together shortly. We show five possible node locations in this video, but you won't get that many in a single instance. Normally I'd expect two to three nodes, four if you're lucky. Strutting around ZG, zero fears. Isn't it the best? If you think so too, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Three more safe spots up next. We started in the north and are going to make our way back around clockwise. First, we'll quickly stop off at a safe spot just in case you get in combat, although there is plenty of space to concentrate on dodging these mobs. If you aggro, keep running and line up the statue thing down at Pagel's point. Jump as you hit the tip of the root. This should land you smack bang on the top of the statue. We've called this Pagel's head. Who's got time for fishing though? Let's keep going for another shot at some arcane crystals. Run back up and be sure to give the tree a wide berth because there are mobs on the other side. Up ahead, we're going to duck into the tiger boss area. Turn in and be sure to group up first. Make a hard right. You can pretty much ignore the cubs and jump up onto the small cage. The cage is actually safe, but a little close for comfort. So jump onto the wall and run along a little to what we call Tiger Ledge. I love this spot. It's easy and fun. Mark the cub that's sprinting all over the place because we definitely need to get its attention before it gets ours. Get your friend to pull it, then turn and jump to the next bit of wall and down to the ground straight away. The tigers drop aggro quickly, so your friend needs to get down fast. They can run on foot back to the tiger area and back up to the ledge while we go in to mine the node. There is plenty of time here, but once the node is done, go and jump up in the corner and run along the back area of the wall. You can mount if you want and take a jump into the corner of the wall. Then simply make your way back to tiger ledge to meet up with your friend. Naturally, don't forget to throw in a jump or two to celebrate. After this next safe spot, you'll be able to do a complete loop of ZG, dropping aggro whenever you want. Pretty cool. There are a few more node locations that might be reachable as a duo and aren't shown today. Keep an eye on the chat below and we'll pin a comment with any new additions. If you happen to find one, please let us know. Full disclosure on this one, I didn't do this node in the best way. I run along to another safe spot, but I should have stayed with my friend on the ramp. But hey, now you know another safe spot. We call this the Venuxus Ledge. It is safe and will drop mobs, 
but it's a bit exposed to range mobs, so use it with care. Once the Zerkers are clear, have your friend train the mobs up to our next safe spot. We've called it Spider Ledge. Here my buddy goes full ham through the mobs, but it's a lot safer to hold as far right as possible. As you can see, it takes me quite a while to get to the node, which is why I should have started from the grass ramp, where we were in the first place. Don't forget to communicate so you know how much time you have left. Sometimes you might need to do a pull multiple times, especially if a node takes four hits. Now it's time for you to reunite with your friend at the spider ledge, on our way to the final location. You'll notice that we skipped the bat and spider areas. Bloodseeker bats have a charge, and the spider skitterers are insanely fast. We've put that in the too hard basket for now. The spider ledge is a really good safe spot. It's very easy to get to, and there are plenty of walls to block ranged mobs. For now, we're using it to get to the area up near Mandakir. To do this, first get to the upper spider ledge, which you'll never get to on the first try when you're recording. Wait for the berserker to get to the bottom of its pat, jump off and head up the hill, skipping the spider boss area. I'm not sure whether the area near Mandakir is worth it, for mining or even herbing. A node can spawn near Mandakir, which is out of the question, another in the back corner, which is possible but usually gets ugly, and another which we'll show you now. In any case, give it a try or check how long it has been since your last reset and let that decide for you. Jump up onto this fallen tree. Dismounting usually makes it a bit easier to jump up at the corner. Get to the fat end and welcome to what we call the Mando route. First, make sure the Zerker is heading down and is near the bottom of its path. From the tree, hug the wall down to the back. You can jump up onto the ledge in the corner. Your friend simply needs to aggro the closest raptor and dash back out the way you came in. The less simple part, although it is fun, is that they need to run all the way back to Spider Ledge. If they encounter the Zerker on the way, make sure they jump down the hill to increase their stride. We've never died from this, but I get the feeling we've been a little lucky. You will be in combat, so once you've mined the node, get back to the corner ledge and run along a little. So there you go, our take on a different kind of jump run. Let us know in the comments if you find any other nodes, and for more of our hints, tips and hacks, make sure to hit that subscribe button. This is Daintree Rogue, Gone Rogue. See you next week.